I'm here at my good friend Charlie's house. He lives here in Vider, just across the street from me. And uh, what he has in his home, um, he's really made a concrete home. Just kind of uh, anthropomorphic, just coming out of the ground. You're able to see a lot of the stuff. He's built it out of concrete and glass. And now uh, the structure took a big uh, bit of damage back when Hurricane Rita hit in 05. And then um, early in 06, it uh, hit fire. So a lot of it got destroyed at that time period. A lot of the domes he has. So he's really uh, getting up and kind of got a failing health a little bit, um, trying to rebuild a lot of it. And uh, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you so some of the stuff that he's got available. So we start off with you know just little structures, such as this little firing pit, basically what it is. All built out of concrete and glass. Look, you know, it's around. And things have grown up around, you know, devastation from the hurricane, just kind of everybody cleaning it up. You know, it's the goats help keep all the brush down. There's a lot in the structure. Here he's got, he's got no electricity. There's no running water. And he's quite a bit off the road. I mean, you can't come out here in a car. You've got to have a truck. And you gotta go pretty slow. Nice little hobbles. We got the goats up here. And come up to a. Oh. Just bottles all the way around. Little goat here. There used to be a big dome right here, big covering, about 22 foot tall. It's all gone now. We walk around. Notice we're coming up in this area. And this is a large structure. Come up. This is a, uh, you see it this way. And when you get inside, it, it gives you a whole new perspective on what you just saw on the outside. Come through this little walkway. And this is what we call the greenhouse. All the way up, just beautiful bottles, beautiful lit. Now, I came in here earlier this morning, and it was kind of cool, nice and cool, because the sun hadn't come up. Now the sun starts beating down, it heats this facility up a little bit. I mean, it's probably about 85 degrees in here now, and it's still pretty cool for the day. Charlie's a large artist and started doing these little wooden structures. Master's degree from Pennsylvania, New York, shown all over the world. We notice these, these helix looking things. Now he's got a very large one at the um, museum in Baltimore. About 40 foot tall. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful place. Let's see, walking around. Let's see what we got. See this? Remember, the structure had a dome on it. Well, that's new right there since the Hurricane had to rebuild that. And stuff he's just working on. Come through. Other little rooms. And it's great use of these jars. Open them up and basically it's like shelving. Each little hole has a place where you can put all his little knickknacks. We know some tools. Artist tools and Charlie lived as an artist most of his life. Other rooms and, and this used to be his living facility before the Oops, sorry, I had a more slides on me, just bothered me. He used to live in this room here. Back before the fire. After the fire, he moved his facility to one of the places where he, all the goats come up. You can see all the scat and hay. A little warm, you smell it. That little alcove.
We'll come out here. It's nice to observe. This has always been an open area. You see different things around. This looks silly. Now, it's been really hot this year. And it really takes a toll. You realize how much um, you need and use electricity and water and and really just overall technology. But when you come out here, you notice that he doesn't have any of that. He doesn't use any of that. And he makes do. Now, is it a great life? No, not at all. But it has a sense of tranquility and peace that um, you can't get while you're plugged into society. You, it takes this extreme of a measure to come out here. And we're not talking going out for a week or a couple days or a weekend or not even a month. This is a sense of, this is my life. I don't have electricity to go back to. Now he showers, and cleans out here, things like that. We notice different troughs. This right there, that's a water collection tub. He's got one on the opposite side too that I didn't show you. Now it's a big ladder up there. He's, he's doing some work on the top. And it's just, uh, it's a different kind of lifestyle when, when you realize that this is, this is what you have. Charlie's just a great guy. We're going back into the main part of the facility. This is where he lives now. Well, it takes a little hole. It takes, this is it. This is the door. Barely. You've got to turn sideways coming here. Good friend of mine, Rick. Okay. Yeah. But storage everywhere. And this is Patrick? At the temple that we've probably seen in some of my other videos. Beautiful piece right there. Nice the pieces just all over. And this is life. And this is the life of Charlie Stagg, the artist, the person, the friend. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.